Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and showing you a little demo of these new lipsticks by Sleek Makeup. They've been out for a little while but they just recently sent these to me so just an FYI these were gifted to me by Sleek. They are called the Lip Dose Soft Matte Lip Click. Very innovative, a little bit different. So I've got four to show you guys and I actually happen to be wearing one on my lips right now which is in the shade Problematic because Charlene is problematic. Anyway, so these cost $5.99 which is really affordable. Sleek, for those of you that don't know, is a drugstore brand in the UK. When they initially started, they were a black owned brand. I don't think it's the same anymore, but generally their makeup was one of the few brands out there that actually catered towards black and deep and brown skin tones. Altogether, they have 12 shades, but like I said, I've got four to show you guys. All that happen to go with my medium skin tone, and if you've got deep skin tone, they will match you as well. And of course, if you're fair, well, you're lucky, everything pretty much matches your skin tone. So let me just read to you what their claims are off of their website. It says, Lip Dose Soft Matte Stylo Lipstick provides precision application for a fuss-free, bold lip. This creamy, full-coverage formulation combines matte finish emollients with soft focus and texturizing powders for a mousse-like finish and an even color dispersal. I agree with their claims 100%. I absolutely love these lipsticks. I'm quite surprised that I didn't actually go out of my way to try them before. First off, let me just show you what they actually look like and what the whole lip click means. I will show you one that hasn't been opened yet. So it comes in this tube like this, and then when you open it up, you can see that it's got a kind of diamond sort of shape, which is to make it easier for you to kind of get a more precise application of lipstick. And I actually really like it. And then what you've got at the bottom is a clicker. So you click it and then at some point, come on, at some point the lipstick will start to come up. Okay, it's done it a little bit now. I'm not gonna do it too much. The one thing you do have to bear in mind is that you can't unclick it. So if you click too much and too much of it comes up, you will get it stuck at the top. So just bear in mind, they do give a little bit of space at the top because I have tested it out. But just so that you guys are aware that once you click it, it can't actually go back down. But this way you only really push up as much as you actually need. So that's what they mean when they say it provides precision application for a fuss-free, bold lip. I find it really, really easy to apply to my lips. No lip liner is necessary, although if you're like me and you like to use lip liner anyway, by all means go ahead. Creamy, full coverage, completely it is very creamy and it is full coverage. I don't need to apply more than one layer. Combines a matte finish emollients with a soft focus finish. So this is how it looks on my lips. As you can see, it has got a very nice soft focus finish and it is completely matte and texturizing powders for a mousse-like finish and even color dispersal. So when you apply it, it definitely does have that creamy mousse type of formula to it. So when you rub your lips together, they feel nice and creamy and soft. But the one thing I really like about this, and it doesn't happen immediately because I've only had this on my lips probably for an hour, in maybe another half hour or so, it will go completely matte and I won't be able to smush my lips together as much as I did when I first applied it. However, it dries down completely to the point where I cannot even feel it on my lips, like at all. I can lick them, all kinds, of, I will not be able to feel them on my lips, which I absolutely love about this. I give these a 10 out of 10, they're absolutely excellent. They do come off a little bit onto like your cup, your straw, if you kiss somebody. However, the color still remains because it's so pigmented and plus once it's dried, it's almost like it gets sealed onto your lips and it doesn't budge, it does not move throughout the day. I actually really, really like these and I'm definitely going to invest in some more. So what I'm gonna do now is, now that I've given you my very quick review, I'm gonna swatch these all on my lips for you guys just so that you can see how they work on my medium toned skin. So this first shade is called Outburst. It's a beautiful kind of burnt orange sort of brown kind of shade, but more obviously on the orange side, such a pretty color, really wearable for all skin tones. If you've got deep skin, this will work beautifully as like a nudish sort of color, but with like a hint of orange to it. And I think it's a beautiful shade for the summer and the autumn months. So 
so this next shade is called disruptive it's a beautiful orange toned red another shade that would look amazing on so many skin tones i really love how it feels it's so creamy as well when i apply it so easy to apply and it's such a beautiful wearable shade for so many people that don't like the full-on bright blue based red but they want something a little less in your face this is where an orange based red kind of comes into play So this next shade is called, it is called Wait Your Turn. Okay. <laughs> so this is a beautiful warm toned deep plum shade. Another shade that will go beautifully with so many different skin tones. Definitely not the kind of summer sort of shade that most of you will be wearing, you know, over the next couple of months. But obviously this is a permanent lipstick. So by all means, it's the perfect kind of shade to wear for the more autumnal fall and winter months. But again, another beautiful full coverage, fully opaque and pigmented shade. And last but not least is the shade that you saw me wearing at the beginning of the video which is called Problematic which is a beautiful, it's, it's a magenta pink but it's a soft magenta pink as in it's in your face but it's not too in your face if that makes sense because I'm wearing this dress which is like a pastel rainbow dress I wanted to have something quite soft on the eyes but a little bit more impact on the face but still didn't want to detract too much from what I was wearing so that's the reason why I have paired this with this but this is another beautiful colour absolutely love it and that's it for my review of the new Lipto Soft Matte Lip Clicks by Sleek Makeup highly recommend them you will all absolutely love them and that's it I hope you guys are wonderful and great and I'll see you all in the next video bye